Mantle convection is the slow creeping motion of Earth's solid silicate mantle caused by convection currents carrying heat from the interior of the Earth to the surface. The Earth's surface lithosphere, which rides atop the asthenosphere, is divided into a number of plates that are continuously being created and consumed at their opposite plate boundaries. Accretion occurs as mantle is added to the growing edges of a plate, associated with seafloor spreading. This hot added material cools down by conduction and convection of heat. At the consumption edges of the plate, the material has thermally contracted to become dense, and it sinks under its own weight in the process of subduction usually at an ocean trench. This subducted material sinks through the Earth's interior. Some subducted material appears to reach the lower mantle, while in other regions, this material is impeded from sinking further, possibly due to a phase transition from spinel to silicate perovskite and magnesiowustite, an endothermic reaction. The subducted oceanic crust triggers volcanism, although the basic mechanisms are varied. Volcanism may occur due to processes that add buoyancy to partially melted mantle causing an upward flow due to a decrease in density of the partial melt. Secondary forms of convection that may result in surface volcanism are postulated to occur as a consequence of intraplate extension and mantle plumes. It is because the mantle can convect that the tectonic plates are able to move around the Earth's surface. Mantle convection seems to have been much more active during the Hadean period, resulting in gravitational sorting of heavier molten iron and nickel elements and sulfides in the core and lighter silicate minerals in the mantle. Types of convection During the late 20th century, there was significant debate within the geophysics community as to whether convection is likely to be laid or hurled. See for example, Donald Lawson Turcott, Gerald Schubert, Geodynamics, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-66624-4 and also, Gerald Schubert Donald Lawson Turcott Peter Olson. Cited work, p. 616. ISBN 0-521-79836-1. Although elements of this debate still continue, results from seismic tomography, numerical simulations of mantle convection and examination of Earth's gravitational field are all beginning to suggest the existence of whole mantle convection, at least at the present time. In this model, coal subducting oceanic lithosphere descends all the way from the surface to the core mantle boundary and hot plumes rise from the CMB all the way to the surface. This picture is strongly based on the results of global seismic tomography models, which typically show slab and plume-like anomalies crossing the mantle transition zone. Although it is now well accepted that subducting slabs cross the mantle transition zone and descend into the lower mantle. Debate about the existence and continuity of plumes persists with important implications for the style of mantle convection. This debate is linked to the controversy regarding whether intraplate volcanism is caused by shallow, upper mantle processes or by plumes from the lower mantle. Many geochemistry studies have argued that the lavas erupted in intraplate areas are different in composition from shallow-derived mid-ocean ridge basalts. Specifically, they typically have elevated helium-3 helium-4 ratios. Being a primordial nuclide, helium-3 is not naturally produced on Earth. It also quickly escapes from Earth's atmosphere when erupted. The elevated He-3, He-4 ratio of ocean island basalts suggest that they must be sources from a part of the Earth that has not previously been melted, and reprocessed in the same way as MORB source has been. This has been interpreted as their originating from a different, less well-mixed region, suggested to be the lower mantle. Others, however, have pointed 
pointed out that geochemical differences could indicate the inclusion of a small component of near-surface material from the lithosphere. Speed of convection Typical mantle convection speed is 20 mm, year near the crust but can vary quite a bit. The small-scale convection in the upper mantle is much faster than the convection near the core. A single shallow convection cycle takes on the order of 50 million years, though deeper convection can be closer to 200 million years.